There's a new player in the game and they sent me a package to do an unboxing. Let's see what's inside. Hello Tarantula lovers, I'm Alex and welcome back to Tarantula Haven. Today I received this package that I'm excited to open and this came from Dream Weavers Spiders and their website is dreamweaversspiders.com. I had to say that carefully because I kept finding myself wanting to say Dream Weaver Spiders, but it is Dream Weavers Spiders. So make sure you get that correct when you type in their website. And they are a new vendor that is, specializes in tarantulas, but they also have other invertebrates as well. And they are a vendor for tarantula cribs as well. So those things you can find on their website. So they sent me a package. They asked me if I would do an unboxing for them and they offered me a certain amount and they said, pick out whatever you want within that range on their website and then send it to me so that I could unbox it for them. So definitely check out dreamweaverspiders.com and I'll post a link down below in the description. But they offer lots and lots of cool spiders. They got some kind of rare stuff on there as well. And I noticed that on their invertebrates, they have some stuff that I haven't seen on other places. For one, they offer Damon Diadema or Diadema, um, whatever you want to say. That is one of those Ambly Pigeons, the, the tailless whip scorpions. Haven't seen those offered very much in any website. So they're unfortunately sold out, but hopefully they'll get some more because I definitely want to get some more myself. They also have leaf, um, leaf bugs or leaf insects, which I don't see much around either. So that's pretty cool. I'm seeing stuff on there that's not available on other websites and I don't usually see them at reptile shows or anything like that. So I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye open to see some of the stuff that they have in the future. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing here. And I've already opened it just to make sure everything was okay. I took out the heat pack and everything, but let's go ahead and get into it and see what's inside. Okay, so the box was a little bit larger than what I expected. Usually I get the little six by six boxes or something a little bit bigger than that, but not quite this big. So I wasn't really expecting that. They did say they wanted to throw in a couple of extra little things on there. So I'm kind of curious as to what those are. But as far as packaging is concerned, everything was packed nice and neat. You got this packing paper in here. So everything was nice and secure and they're all in their little dram vials in there and nicely arranged. So as far as packing is concerned, they get an A plus on that. They definitely know what they're doing. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. <laughs> and they sent me a little uh, spider ornament here, a little chain. So that's pretty cool. My wife and I make these little guys too. All right, and we got a few little knickknacks here. Let's see what we got. Oh, very cool. Oh, that is too cute. That is a little ghost there with a plant on it and it is magnetic to stick onto an enclosure. Definitely very cool, gonna use that. All right, what is this? Oh. Little mushrooms, tarantula cat, eat your heart out. Here's some mushrooms, they're also magnetic. You can stick those on. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is a little ledge that you can put in your enclosure. It is also magnetic there, little wooden ledge. And <laughs> I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of little alien. They've got little flowers and stuff in the front. Very cool, I like it. And last but not least, what is this? Oh, another little ledge. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, my wife will like that. It's got a little bumblebee. That's what our Etsy is called, Bum Bu is Busy Bee. And uh, another little alien dude there. Very nice. All right, definitely be using those. All right, and the first item is Phidippus Regis, a jumping spider, a regal jumping spider. I love these little guys. I just recently bought one of my own, but you can never have too many of them. So let's see what this one looks like. Oh, wow, this is a nice pretty brown one. Come on. Very cool, I like this one. Kind of a chocolate brown color. Where's my stick? There we go, let's get you out. So sweet. Come on, little one. She doesn't want to come out. 
I love these little guys. So this one's different from mine. Mine is orange and I named her pumpkin, but this one is a beautiful chocolate color. So maybe I'll name her something chocolate related. Very cute, very beautiful. I love these guys. All right, and up next, Phylocrania Paradoxa, which is a ghost mantis. I haven't had one of these in a long time. This is what I call a heartbreaker. If you saw my last video, there are certain things that I will no longer keep unless somebody sends me one. <laughs> and this is exactly what has happened because they absolutely break my heart. Oh, and it's a little one. This looks like it's probably about maybe, I would say third instar, maybe second instar. I'm not really sure about my mantises, but I love the ghost mantises. What a beautiful little guy. Well, I'm glad to have you and I'll definitely take care of you as long as you live. Sweet little thing. Okay, so those were the extras that they sent me and um, this, these are the ones that I picked out and this one is Kilobrachis fimbriatus, also commonly known as the Indian Violet. Now, I had some of these years ago I had two of them. They were some of the earliest ones that I've gotten and they both matured male on me. So I figured I would try one more time with them because I do love them. They are beautiful, kind of feisty, but I wanted to give them another shot. So hopefully I can get a female out of this one. Let's see if you're okay. It's so hard to get these open. Let me get some tongs here. All right, let's see if I can do a better job opening it just to get a peek inside. I definitely don't want it bolting out at me. Oh, there it is. All right, so this one's pretty decent size. I don't know if you can see it down there. It is not a tiny, tiny spider lane. This has got a little bit of size on it, which is good because I like it with a little bit of size. I don't have to worry about them so much. Very cool. All right, I'll take a look at it later. All right, and the next one is a Heterophily Gabonensis, and that is the uh, Gabon Blue Dwarf Baboon. And these guys are really small, but they're beautiful, and I have one. Um, I bought a couple a few years ago from, or maybe about a year or two ago from Beasley Exotics. And one of them died on me, the other one is still doing fine. But I never did a video on them because they were so tiny, because they are a dwarf species and they don't get very big. They remind me of true spiders, but they are very, very beautiful. So let's see if we can get a look. Oh, there it is. And this is pretty good size too. Holy cow, he sent me some pretty decent sized stuff. Very good. I'm happy, I'm surprised. Okay, so we'll get a look at that in a little bit. Okay, and the next one is Brocky Palma Smithy. And that is the uh, Mexican giant red knee. And I already have one, but I recently confirmed it male. So I thought, well, I'll just see if I'll get another one and maybe I'll get lucky and get a female. Well, he told me he had a female. So he sent me a confirmed female. So I'm so happy because this is one of my favorite species. This one has a special place in my heart. And I did want to get a female because I want to keep one for as long as I possibly can. They are just a gorgeous species. And this one is a confirmed female and it is pretty good size as well. Very cool. Can't wait to get a look at that one. All right, and the very last one, the crown jewel of this shipment, at least what I consider it to be, that Smithy though is, is pretty good as well. This one is Hapalopus species Gorilla or Guerrilla, if you wanna say it correctly. 
And this is the Speckle Patch Tarantula. It's very similar to the Pumpkin Patch, but its colors and markings are just a little bit different, a little bit more striking. And I definitely wanted to get one of these. So um, this, this one I'm really, really excited about. So let's take a look and see how it's doing. Don't bolt on me, baby. Oh, and I can already see some gorgeous legs in there. I don't know if you can see that. But there are some beautiful orange legs showing right there. This thing already looks like it's got some nice colors to it. Pretty decent size too. Wow, I'm surprised. I, I am so shocked because all of these guys are well-grown, well-established tarantulas. So I really don't have to worry about anything with them because if they're eating and they're doing well, they're gonna do just fine. Very cool. All right, so now I have to find enclosures to put all these little guys in. And I am very happy with this shipment. I, I cannot believe the size of these tarantulas that he sent me. I, I, and I know this is not the standard because they will sell spiderlings and they will be small ones, but it's pretty cool when you get some pretty well-started tarantulas because that spiderling phase, that's the sensitive part and you have to make sure that you take care of them just right so that you can get them over that hump and get some size on them so that they start thriving and doing well. So that's always the iffy part with keeping tarantulas because sometimes your little spiderlings maybe may not do well. But when they're well started like this, you can almost rest assured that they're gonna do just fine. So let's go ahead and get them into their enclosures. All right, let's go ahead and get to rehousing. Let's start with the easiest one. I didn't really have anything to put it in, so I used this deli tub and uh, it's got the nice ventilation holes on the top. So, and I went and found a stick out in the yard. So that's what I'm using for this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get her out. All right, there's a the little cutie right there. Oh, check it out. Okay, little one, let's go ahead and get you in. Oh, you don't want to climb on the stick? <laughs> there we go. Dawn down to the bottom. Might be a little bit thirsty. We got moisture in there, so I'll let it sit down there and climb up when it feels like it. All right, so for the next one, I'm putting the jumping spider in this little Amex box right here. We got it nice and tall. I used the little ghost decoration right there. It's bare bones, but that really doesn't matter. She'll like to jump around in there anyway. Probably make her hide up there on the ghost plant. All right, so let's go ahead and get her out. And it's already sitting out there. Beautiful little plant. All right, come on. Oh, and we jumped. Where did we go? Wow, that was super quick. I didn't even see it, but it hopped off my hand and then jumped over here. So. Took me a little bit, I had to look around. I was getting starting to panic, but then I found it clinging to the side of its uh, dram vial right there. So let's go ahead and get it over. There you go. There it is. So cute. Oh, don't you come out. Oh, you're gonna come out on my hand. Hey, little one. <laughs> All right, let's put you back where you belong. 
There we go. All right, and it dropped on in there. There it is at the bottom. So I'm gonna let it go ahead and feel secure and make it hide wherever it wants. Okay, so the next one, I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit tricky. These guys are pretty quick, so I'm gonna have to be ready. Add a little bit of water there, so I don't have to worry about it later. Okay, so this is the Herothele Gabonensis. So let's go ahead and get it out. And it had some pretty decent size to it. Let's hope it just doesn't decide to bolt on me. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, look at that. Oh, don't take off, don't take off. God, I love the speckles on their abdomen. It is just absolutely beautiful. I hardly get to see mine because it spends most of its time inside of its web. These guys are great webbers. They will web up the entire enclosure and pretty much spend their time inside the web and then they come out whenever there's prey and drag it down into the web. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it over. And I think I'm gonna use the lid to try to scoop it across. There we go. All right, not bad. Just a beautiful species. They stay pretty small. This is actually pretty close to adult size, I think. Awesome. All right, let's close it up before it bolts. All right, so the next one is going to be the Indian Violet. And I also have a hammock box for this one. I don't have very many enclosures available right now. All right. Okay, so these guys are kind of bolty too. So again, I'm gonna have to be real careful with this one. Let's be prepared. This one had some pretty good size to it as well. Oh, let's see it. Hope it doesn't decide to come out the bottom. There it is. All right. So gorgeous. Starting to get a little bit of color to it. These guys will take on a very nice purplish sheen to them. They got kind of a striped abdomen. They're just beautiful as adults. They do like to burrow. So I chose a little bit of a deeper amic box for this one, but eventually I'll move it into something larger, but this should be okay. They're also pretty good webbers. They will web up the enclosure just along the surface of the substrate and um, they'll pretty much stay inside of their burrow. But once they web everything up, mine used to sit out on their, on their webbing. They would bolt anytime there was a disturbance, but for the most part, they'd stay out on their webbing. All right, so not any bolting here. That's pretty good. Kept everything nice and casual. All right, it'll probably sit there until it makes its burrow and then it'll web up the entire enclosure. Okay, so for the next one, I do have a tarantula cribs enclosure. This is the small slider. And uh, of course that'll be temporary because this will get much, much larger for that. All right, go ahead and give it some water. And this one is where the Brachypelma smithy will be. Smith eye, however you want to call it. And I'm very anxious to get a look at her. Oh, 
what a beauty. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I love these little guys. Mine's gotten some pretty good size on it. It's about maybe three and a half, four inches, but I was able to confirm it male. So this one is a confirmed female. So not that she would make a mate for the other one because it's going to take her a while to get to the right size. But I did want a female of this species. All right, let's go. Come on, little one. There you go. Okay, so there she is, kind of wedging herself between the cork bark there and the side of the, the enclosure. So when she feels comfortable, she'll roam around, make herself at home. All right, plenty of room for her right now. All right, and last but not least, the Hapalopus species gorilla, speckle patch. And I don't know much about them. I'm assuming they're pretty close to what a um, pumpkin patch tarantula is. So they are dwarf species. They look very similar to the pumpkin patch, just a little bit darker. Markings are a little bit different. And I'm not sure how bolty they are. So I guess we're about to find out. Look at those beautiful legs. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Those markings are so brilliant. Very dark. Carapace. She's beautiful already. Okay, so let's get her in. And I'm gonna use the lid as well because I don't know how bolty they are, so I don't want it bolting on me and having to chase it down. Okay, so there she is. Look at that, that is so beautiful. I'm so glad to finally have one of these. Their markings are just brilliant. They are so striking. Look at that, how beautiful it is. When I, <clears throat> and I forgot to add some water. There we go, put a little bit around. Okay, so let's secure it and we're good to go. All right, what an awesome haul from Dreamweaver Spiders. I really appreciate everything that you sent me. That was awesome of you, but I am so happy with this Brocky Palma Smithy. I am in love. It's been a dream spider of mine. I got one and I was hoping it would be female, but it ended up being a male. So I was a little bit disappointed, but I still love them. I just wanted a female so I can have it for a longer period of time. And now you've made that happen. So I really, really appreciate that. And what about that Hapalopa species gorilla? That is an incredible tarantula. It is beautiful, it's a dwarf species, and the markings are just striking. I just love the way they look, and it's definitely one that I've been keeping my eye on, and I finally got one, and they are just as beautiful in real life as they are in pictures. So I'm really amazed with it, and I'm really happy. And I love the other ones too. I wanted to get those other ones because I wanted to have more of them. The, um, the Indian violet, I got two of them at one point and ended up having both of them mature male. So I was really disappointed. So hopefully this one will turn out female. If not, maybe I'll try again, but I love that species. They get really, really beautiful when they become adults. So, you know, definitely check out Dream Weavers Spiders. They have an awesome website. They've got lots and lots of stuff to choose from. They're definitely going on my list of websites that I visit, especially when I'm looking for those other inverts that they carry too, because I definitely want to get some more Damon Diadema. And I might be interested in one of those, um, those leaf insects, but I'm not sure if we can keep those here in Florida. So I have to make sure before I decide to go get one, but definitely on my list to, to get if I can get a 
hold of one. And they wanted to give me to give a plug to another YouTuber, which I don't have a problem doing. And I want you to check out Merck's Exotics, I think is what it's called, Merck's Exotics. And I'll put a link right here to their unboxing video that they got from Dreamweaver's Spiders. And they got an amazing haul. They got a bunch of stuff because they are local, so it didn't cost them anything in shipping. So they made out like bandits. Definitely check it out and see what they got. And um, you saw what I got. So I give them a thumbs up. Hopefully, you know, you'll visit them and maybe you'll have the same great experience that I did. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you visit their website and you see something you like and you want to place an order, you can get 10% off your order if you use the discount code DREAMWEAVERS10. DREAMWEAVERS10 will get you 10% off your order. And that wraps it up for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support this channel, I have a Teespring store where I sell Tarantula Haven merchandise. Thank you so much. Until next time, keep loving them tarantulas. <laughs>